So Shri and I have decided to take a break from the many cab rides. Here the rule when you are on the escalator and the tube, you have to stand on the right so that people who are in a hurry can move on the left. Well, the table is all set. This is where we're going to do our first ever food lovers meetup in London. Bisi bade baat, ha? Wonderful. Tamil Nadu, Andhra, Karnataka. Okay. Hi. Hello. Namaskara. Namaskara. So, Davani ke andar hai bande dosa. Yes. Ah, land of the bande dosa. समाहुले तुलु अर्था पुंडु पादरे समामर्पुजी ओह माय गुडनेस दे दे फ्लू इन फ्रॉम आयरलैंड आयरलैंड इज अच्छा मैं जस्ट वॉकिंग इन द मॉर्निंग थ्रू ग्रीन पार्क we spent some time on a bench very quietly in Hyde Park and now we are on our way back to the hotel because our hotel is in this area Buckingham Gate near Buckingham Palace there's a lot of activity that you catch especially in the morning concerning the soldiers we just got the the royal horsemen i don't know if that's what they're called heading back to their barracks after the ceremony is at Buckingham Palace just down the road so the one thing out here is that whatever they do it's kind of uh, packaged very well and also the manner in which it is set up it's almost uh, very well oiled rehearsed which i guess makes it interesting even for those who come in as a tourist so it's all accessible for you part of the sights of london This is the other thing that I love about the city: the fact that uh, you have these vast expanses of parks everywhere. This is a green park, and as I learned from my London guide Arun a couple of days ago, the reason why it's called Green Park is that there are absolutely no flowers to be found in this park, and that's supposedly because one day I don't know which year, which king, which queen. when they were walking through green park when it had flowers they saw some i think the queen saw some flowers and told the king to give the flowers to the most beautiful lady around there so the queen assumed that the king would give it to her but the king gave the flower gutsy man that he was to one of our maids and i think that upset the queen and uh, she decreed that there be no flowers any more in this park and therefore it's only trees it's only greens well i don't know if it's if the story is just a legend or if it's true but it certainly makes for an interesting uh reason as to why this park is called green park but i do see some trees there bearing flowers so i don't know if there is any truth to the story behind the name or it only applies to flowering plants not trees if you know about the story or the facts behind this do let me know in the comments below as for now we are on our way back to the hotel and then we are going for lunch to a place called dishum people have said you must try dishum in london and uh, that's where we are headed we are headed to kings cross dishum i'm told there are many restaurants across london many branches but we're heading over to the king's cross branch the boss as always is walking ahead striding with purpose <laughs> and that's buckingham palace you see these cops here they're the ones who control the crowds here so all over you'll find cops controlling the crowd making sure that the ceremony here at buckingham proceeds smoothly So the one thing about them is the cops is that they are firm but friendly. You must have seen videos of 
King Charles or Prince Charles, Diana, Camilla, the Queen, the former Queen and also Prince Philip waving to the crowds from the balcony. That balcony is somewhere there in the centre. So Shri and I have decided to take a break from the many cab rides. It's also very expensive and uh, we've decided but not just from that perspective but also from the perspective of trying something different. We've decided to take the tube to go to King's Cross Dishum. We've taken the tube uh, with other people but we've not taken it just by ourselves. So we thought this will be a nice little adventure on the tube to get to King's Cross. I only hope it doesn't turn out to be a misadventure and we don't take the wrong line and get off at the wrong stop, etc. But uh, that way Google is pretty convenient. It tells you exactly which tube station to walk to, uh, which tube to take, which line, which platform, how many stops and then where you need to go when you alight. We had a nice sandwich at that place the other day. Joe and the Juice. Yeah. I had a nice club sandwich. Chicken club sandwich and Shri had a vegan spirulina. vegan shake with spirulina and all sorts of greens and seeds and was there some berries in that? No. no. A meal that's far removed from the kind of meal that we will be tasting today at Dishum. I have no idea. This is my first time too. Mind the gap, please. Thank you. Change here. Northern Line, London Underground. Here the rule when you are on the escalator and the tube, you have to stand on the right so that people who are in a hurry can move on the left. Well that was rather smooth. I think the Google map helps a great deal. So we are already out now. Smooth? Yeah, very smooth. Very smooth, easy and of course uh, very very cheap on the pocket and more than the expenses we just wanted to try it. Now we need to figure out how to get to uh, Dishum. Those are called long boats. Nice to see people just chilling out and having a great time. Here at King's Cross. So we're of course at the very famous uh, Dishum, which is uh, one of London's most popular, I'm told currently, uh, spots for Indian dining. The vibe is very uh, Gymkhana meets Irani cafe. Some broccoli stem, something to balance out that uh, very pulao. <laughs> 